back and now with the political news in full Egypt welcomed on Wednesday a decision by Slovenia's government and parliament to formally recognize the state of Palestine. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ahmed Abu Zaid described the decision as a crucial step to enhance Palestinian people's legislative rights to hold an independent state. Abu Zaid added that the decision comes as a consolidation of international efforts aimed at carrying out a two-state solution in accordance to international legitimacy. On Tuesday, Slovenia's parliament passed a decree recognizing a Palestinian state following last week's recognition by three other European states. 52 members of the 90-member parliament voted in favor of the government-sponsored decree to recognize a Palestinian state after a chaotic six our parliament session. Slovenia's center-left government sent the decree on recognizing a Palestinian state for a parliamentary approval last Thursday as part of efforts to end the fighting in Gaza as soon as possible. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sameh Shukri and his separate counterpart, Minister Konstantinos Kambas, have uh, agreed on the need to reach a ceasefire in Gaza. Speaking at a joint press conference following their talks in Cairo, Shukri said the pair had also agreed on rejecting the forced displacement of Palestinians in Gaza. In his remarks, the top diplomat hailed the deep and strategic ties binding Cairo and Nicosia in various fields. He said both sides have coordinated efforts over regional and international issues of mutual concern. For its part, Cypriot ministers said they had signed a memorandum of understanding regarding the Egyptian labor in Cyprus. The minister further said the two sides discussed cooperation in the field of energy. The two ministers discussed extensive deliberations within the framework of strategic relationship binding the two countries. Their talks also tackled means of reaching a ceasefire and containing the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. Foreign ministers of Egypt, Qatar, Jordan, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have stressed the significance of dealing seriously and positively with U.S. President Joe Biden's proposal to reach a deal that would guarantee a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. This came in a joint statement issued by the ministers after a virtual meeting they held to discuss mediation efforts to strike a hostage swap deal. The United States announced a draft Security Council resolution supporting the Israel-Hamas ceasefire plan outlined by Biden last week, urging Hamas to accept it. Biden's deal includes a permanent ceasefire and release of hostages, as well as allowing sufficient aid deliveries to the Gaza Strip. A gunman had 